Welcome to another video. My name is Alexander Stankowitz, aka Chance Finance. And in this video, we will be opening up this Pokemon Divergent Powers tin. So this tin has five Pokemon booster packs inside, as well as a code that you can use uh, online in the Pokemon game. I don't really use the online game at all. I'm just here to unbox this tin and get some nice pulls. Maybe even make a potential profit from this. But who knows? Even if I don't, I could hold on to the cards and in the future make a nice amount of money. We'll see. Now, I know I haven't made a video in a while and that's just because I've been healing and taking some time off to actually, you know, heal. As you may know, I've been injured, I broke my clavicle and I had to get surgery and after weeks and weeks of healing, I'm feeling a lot better now, and I'm able to use my right arm as if it was perfectly fine. I can't be doing heavy lifting and stuff, but this ain't much. Anyways, let's just get right into the unboxing. So, uh, I'm just gonna rip this apart. Now, what you could do is you could buy these tins and keep them over time. So perhaps 10 years down the line, when they no longer sell these in stores like Walmart or Target, you can keep these tins and the price of them will go up significantly. So right now, each of these tins are worth about 20 to $25. I got mine for about $22. So we're gonna see if I could pull about a car. There's different types of tins. I got the one that has the Shuin Typhlosion. And this set has a Samurai and Decidua, I believe, as well. So there's three. Personally, I love Typhlosion since he's my favorite out of all of them. And honestly, just look at how sick that looks. Look, look at that. All right, but enough dilly-dallying. Let's just get into it. Alright, so, as customary with a tin, it comes with a card that is already V-rated. Yeah, I know I'm very inexperienced with this kind of stuff, but, you know, there's a first time for everything. There's a code as well, but I want to look at this Typhlosion, and I don't want to ruin it because I don't want to bend it and, you know, decrease the value of the card. Let me, let me pocket this on the actual camera so you can see. Okay. Now that looks really nice to me. I don't see any bad dents or anything. The centering looks pretty good. Now the centering of the card, uh, nah, the centering on the back bit too much to the left yeah this is not PSA 10 unfortunately but it's not bad that's for sure here we have a card code card so this tin came with two astral radiance packs a brilliant stars pack and two evolving skies booster packs so here's what we've got all right Let's get into it. You know what, I'm gonna go get scissors because I don't trust myself and I wanna make sure that the quality of these packs. All right, first we got a code. Here it is if anyone wants that. All right, so I believe it's one, two, three to the front and then we start. So first we got uh, Torgetic, pretty cool art, Tuxi Pickaxe, Zisu, damn she's got some red hair, got a Glam Meow, a Puccina, Swinub, Quillfish, oh that's really cool, looking like a, like a 9 or a 6. Uh, Petalil. 
Ooh, we got a weird deer. Weird deer? Weird deer? Weirder full art. That's nice. And we got a Typhlosion reverse hollow. And an energy on the back. Okay, so one of them's an energy. Yeah, so yeah, we're guaranteed an energy in each of these booster packs. That's right. That was a good pull, though. Okay, I'm going to put these in some sleeves. That's a very good pull. Look at that. That's some sick art, too. Look at it. Here we got an Astral Radiance pack. All right. Oh, oh oops. Don't want to show anything just yet. Here we got a code here. Take that if you want it. One, two, three to the back. And we first got an Azelf. Oh. Azelf. Switch cart. Uxy. Rufflet. Ponita. Rowlet, Bronzor, Oshawott, some cool art, and a Silene. No, wait, this is, yeah, no, this is a reverse hollow. The other one was a hollow? See, see you, you can tell I'm an experience. <laughs> and a leafy art. And last card is just an energy. water energy. Here we got a Brilliant Stars pack. All right, here's code. So we do one, two, three to the front. Okay. First we got Magma Basin. Dang, that slid off. Hitman Top. Luxio. Magmar. Burmy. Star U. Oh, oh, I just saw a little something down there. Carablast. Saw a reverse hollow, a fairy, and a chimchar reverse hollow. That's nice. Ooh, a Mewtwo. I love Mewtwo. Energy. Mewtwo is definitely one of my favorite Pokemon, for sure. Evolving Skies with a nice little Umbreon on there. A little Scraggy. Scrappy to whoa. We got code card. One, two, three to the front. Let me start. Zinnia's Resolve. All right. Copycat. Sure. Scroll of the Flying Train. <laughs> Why is that a thing? Here we got Scraggy. Bagon. Woolbat. Timple. Oh, we got a reverse hollow down. I keep actually skipping cards and spoiling it. Psyduck, a Hippodon, Reverse Hollow. What else have we got? A Wishy Washy, and then the Energy, of course. And then we got our last pack. This is sad. I wanted to get something really good. All right, here we got a Fletchling. In fact, I know it came out X and Y. Here's a code. One, two, three cards to the front. And we start pulling another Zinnia's Resolve. Regular Hippodon, Tentacool, Fletchling, Tentacool, Pikachu, got a little Pikachu, Seedot, Philipop, Reverse Hollow, Rog and Rolla, please. Ah, shit, die. Dang, these were pretty bad. I only put stuff that's at least a dollar in plastic or else I just don't see it's really worth it. All right, so here are all the cards that I thought were worth some value. I put them all in plastic sleeves. I don't think they're worth the value to be put in the hard ones yet, unfortunately, but here is what we've got. And then, Here's the stack of all the other cards that I will count myself later and check the prices off. Now, I'm going to go off on a limb and say we did make profit, either just a little bit more or we were just a bit short. But 
We're just gonna have to wait for future me to find out, I guess. This is future me who forgot to record a proper outro, and boy did I find out, alright. Adding the ungraded values of the cards I unpacked using PriceCharting.com, I got $67.63. This genuinely surprised me and might actually be a great way to make a lot of money if you can find buyers. After all, it only costs like 55 cents to mail someone a letter with your cards nicely wrapped up in them so they don't get damaged. I might just try doing that for a future video. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you squeeze that red button and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to like this video to show some support. Scroll down and comment below what you think of this video. And don't be afraid to throw in some cool ideas because they may just end up being my next video. I'll be responding to every single comment, so don't be shy. Anyways, I pray you have a wonderful day. And remember, money often costs too much.